for instance, what do you think about Alexander Haig having left us? I think it's wonderful. I think it's perfect. I'm very happy that Alexander Haig left us. Can I look at the camera or do I have to look straight forward? You can, you can look at the camera. You okay. can look straight forward. Okay, I'll talk like John Kennedy when he was debating Nixon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at the camera. Instead of debating Nixon, I'll debate the audience. Right. Say hello to them. You I'm die. happy Haig left us. Mm -hmm. Why? Now, because he's a fascist. He has a whole closet full of brown shirts. Yes. Mm. And he loves nuclear weapons too much. He just loves. Mm. All right. Do you know that Gene and uh, Yao left to go to Campus Corners for a second? Oh, well, they did. Uh -huh. How did he get back in the very slot? They, they know how to call up on my telephone. Mm. They went to pick up a few supplies. Mm. Like what? Like, um, Berry barrier, what they call it, dysentery disease stuff. It's like, what's that medicine that you get when you go to Mexico oh, for La me? Turista? Yeah, uh, Pepto Bismol. No, it's something that's super powerful. It's like this Lomacol? medicine that's like, you know, it's the most powerful thing in the world. Oh. I'm glad. When are you going to turn on the camera? Doesn't the camera. Turn it on. I can't believe it's that quiet. <laughs> it's been going all this time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you could do. You could do something. Mm -hmm. You could do something fancy. Okay. <laughs> I do a three stooges routine. Right. <laughs> you know, like that. Tell us something hmm. out of your life, George. I can what? Tell us something from your life. I was born on October sixteenth, nineteen fifty-three. It was a Friday, and about. You remember distinctly? No. <laughs> I'm just taking other people's word for it. Call me Ishmael. Hmm? Call me Ishmael. Oh, why should anyone call me Ishmael? Or if you want to be, if if you want me to call you Ishmael, I'm perfectly willing to do so. Oh, yes. You know, there's, there's another one that starts off by. I was born with a cowlick on the back of my head. And I've that never one, heard that one. That's also from uh, Dickens. Hmm. David Copperfield. Mm. Tell me a little bit about your studies. What's there to say? Studies are studies, schools are schools all over. There's no difference. Yes, but they make you get up at 4 30 in the morning at this school. I don't like oh, that. Oh, is it ROTC? No. <laughs> no, we get up at 5 30. No, let's, you know, crude. let's have our, crude. Let's have our crude. facts. Great. No, the fact is that you get up at four thirty and less, of course they've relaxed the rules since I was No, there no, five thirty. Five thirty. What other people have to get up at 4.30, but the students have to get up at 5.30. And you can't and you can't allow women in your kitchen either, right? Ah, uh, that's true. Sad to say. We'd love to uh, get rid of our cook. Why? Hey, if you need to ask, it can't be explained. We're going in for a tight shot on him. Mm-hmm. Very tight. So how is your daily life? Oh. What do you do? Well, read, study, play. goof off, mm -hmm. the usual. Did you play a lot of No. No. Some people like to play, uh,